friends, welcome back to another video with me, Aziza, aka Gourmet Pens. Uh, this will just be a really short talk bit because I just wanted to quickly introduce what I'm going to be doing because most of what I will be doing, if not all of what I will be doing, is going to be with the camera pointing down so you can see what I'm writing and such. So this is going to be a comparison of the Franklin Kristoff Fine Flex Nib which is this one. It has those little shoulder cutouts and this is unmodified. So this is the fine round flex nib. And then the second nib I will be comparing it to, wait, the other nib I will be comparing it to is the extra fine flex nib. So the only difference will be the extra fine versus fine because they are both round points. Now one is going to be on the model 66 and the other one is going to be on the Model 03. Both are in antique glass. So there we go. We will do a writing sample so you can see the difference in the line variation and general performance of both nibs. So I will see you soon, but you will only see my hands and the pens and paper downstairs over on the desk facing downward. Okay, I'm gonna go now. Um, so let's get cracking. Okie dokie, hello and welcome back. Um, this is Aziza from Gourmet Pens. Today we are looking at the Franklin Kristoff Fine Flex Nib, which is a standard flex, I'm um, sorry, standard fine. There's no modifications to it. Um, the flex nib here is created by cutting out a bit of the shoulders. Now these are not true flex nibs. If you are looking for a vintage flex or something that's tines are gonna be like, weep, weep, you don't want one of these. This is just gonna give you a bit of bounce to the writing experience. There is also a new extra fine version available. So I just wanted to do a quick writing sample so you could see the difference between the two of them and decide if you want an extra fine or a fine. Now, this model is the Franklin Christoph Model 66 Stabilis in antique glass. Obviously, I have it as an eyedropper. Um, this model is the Model 03 in antique glass, also a Franklin Christoph, and I have it as a converter, as you can see again. So, what I have found is the fine nib, which is this one, I find this one a little bit smoother than the extra fine, which is not unusual. You have to be light on the pressure because you can quite easily lift the nib off the feed. And once you do that, you hamper ink flow and it's just not going to work out well for you. So this is the fine flex. Here we are with no pressure. I'm just gonna zoom in a little to make this a bit easier for you guys to see what's going on. Um, so no pressure. You can see that the nib is not flexing at all. And if I add a little bit of pressure, you can see that it moves ever so slightly. And I, to be honest, I wouldn't go beyond this. This is mild to moderate pressure because it's, as I said, it's easy to lift these nibs off the feed. So the experience it gives you is instead of having like a solid writing experience, it gives you just a bit of give. Yields ever so slightly, feels like you're writing on a, on a you know, a bit of a cushion. So I like the writing experience. I would not go into this expecting a full flex nib, but I would go into this expecting the nib to have a little bit of yield to it and a little bit of give. So the extra fine definitely starts out finer. Sorry about my hideous handwriting. I'm looking through the camera. Um, it had a bit of a skip here. So what did I do first here? Okay, let's do the wetness. It's actually pretty wet. And this ink, this purple ink is the Franklin Kristoff Tenebris Purpuratum. And this ink is the Franklin Kristoff Black Cherry. So with no pressure whatsoever, you get a pretty, it's, it's not like a, a Japanese extra fine, but it's pretty decent for a Western extra fine. And one skip there. We do medium pressure, you get a tiny bit of line variation. You're looking at a, at a fine now. Add a bit more pressure, but I wouldn't go beyond this. So you can 
go from an extra fine to a, I don't know, like a wet fine. This one has more feedback. You can hear it. It dries out quicker when it's left open. It gives a bit more skips. But if you are looking for a nib that has a bit more line variation and you don't mind the feedback, I would pick the extra fine. And if you're just looking for something that is a like a like a smoother, wetter writing experience, I would go with the fine, this, uh, the fine, not the extra fine. I hope that made sense. So that is all. I just wanted to give you a quick look at the two pens, um, sorry, the two nibs, maybe assist you in your decision making. And hopefully you found this useful. If you did find this useful, I would appreciate it so much if you would like and subscribe. You know, you can see future things and it also gives me an idea of what you guys like to see and if this is worth it. Um, you can find me online, uh, Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and Patreon as Gourmet Pens. And thank you so much to Franklin Kristoff for sending this extra fine flex nib to check out and share with you. It's been, uh, it's been very interesting and I'm enjoying writing with it quite a bit. So there you have it. Again, these are not full true flex nibs. If you are looking for a nib for Spencerian or copper plate calligraphy, these are not them. These are just for a bouncy, like cushiony type writing experience. And uh, that's, that's all I have to say about that. Okay, we have... Oh, my handwriting's so bad. I'm, I'm reaching through the tripod, so it's pretty painful to look at. Let me see how this is coming up on the screen here. Franklin Kristoff. This is the model 03. And, oh, sorry, you can't really see that. Hmm. There we go. Um, this is the extra fine flex nib. Now, I am writing with a very light hand here because you can apply too much pressure to these nibs, these nibs, and you can lift them off the feed. So let's do. That was too light pressure, sorry. Okay, so that's without pressure. Then I'm going to do increasing pressure slowly. And I would say this is the max I would add. So this is probably a wet fine. So we have the extra fine, which is definitely a Western fine. So if you're looking for like a Japanese extra fine, this is not it. And we add pressure, you get a wet fine bordering on a medium. Now, because it's a round point, it's just a normal line sideways, sorry, cross strokes. There we go, move that up a little. Now. The fun of the extra fine is you get a finer line than the other one, which is the fine flex, which gives you a touch more line variation. It's a little more distinct. Hello. If you're hearing birds, it's because I have the, the window open. Hello, Jello. I think it's really nice. I think it's a lot of fun for just adding some flair to your writing, giving you a bit of a softer writing experience if you don't like really hard nibs. But again, if you are looking for a full flex nib, this is not the way to go. The ink is, I'll write that down. Sorry, I'm looking through my camera screen again, just to make sure this is actually on camera. This is Frank and Kristoff. Black cherry ink. So now we will switch over to the fine nib, which looks the same. And I will do, I'm just gonna write up here. I'll just copy what I've done on the other side. 
Franklin. Just making sure you can also see what I'm writing. Franklin Christoph, this is the model, sorry, my hand's blocking a bit, model 66. And this is the fine flex nib. Now without pressure, you definitely get a fine line. Not like a super fine line, but that's just a fine. Now if we add increasing pressure, you get a wet medium. So no pressure, pressure. Again, because it's a round nib, you have a normal cross stroke, not a particularly crisp or distinct one. If you're looking for something crisp and distinct, I would highly recommend getting the fine flex nib and having the sig grind added to it because it's really fun. I tend to feel that the fine flex nib gives you a rounder writing experience, obviously because it's just more tipping, but if you like a smoother, more simple writing experience, then the fine is the way to go. If you want more line variation, I would go with the extra fine. This ink, again, I'm sorry for the horrible handwriting, it's just I'm writing through a tripod and trying to see the screen to make sure you can see what I'm doing. This ink is Franklin Christoph Tenebris Pure Paratum, which is a dusty purple. Oh, thank you again. We will see you next time.